what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we have some exciting stuff to talk about regarding halloween kills uh we're gonna jump right on into things talking about judy greer's character karen strode we know in halloween 2018 judy greer starred as laurie strode's daughter karen she had been brought up through a lot of uh tough things in her opinion because she was a victim of laurie's paranoia throughout her childhood we know that we found out that she was put into foster care at some point in her childhood and Lori was kind of basically raising her for preparation for the boogeyman's return preparing her for when michael myers would ultimately return to attack haddonfield she she wanted karen to be ready to prepare herself and defend herself we know she taught her this thing about playing to lure michael myers in apparently because at the end of halloween 2018 she lures him in to the to the shot of frame so she can shoot him and then she's like gotcha and then she shoots him so she talked about um she had an interview recently with two fab and they asked her about karen strode and what the direction will be for her character going forward in the franchise with halloween kills and halloween ends and she says that we can expect more of a badass karen strode type of vibe to continue in halloween kills where we left off with that tease that we got when she shot michael myers after she had tripped him into thinking she was afraid so he can appear in the frame so she can shoot him so i'm really excited about that and my honest opinion about karen strode is i thought her character in halloween 2018 i thought she was very very annoying at times just because of how she was always just not listening to her mother she had some unlikable quality traits about her but judy greer did an amazing job in the role it's just that the character itself there's a lot that you did not like about her i guess what it was was just how she interacted with Lori. and we know Lori was the meat and potatoes of that film we all were excited to see jamie jamie lee curse reprise her role as laura stroke because it had been so many years last time we saw her was halloween resurrection so then we have judy greer we find out this is your daughter but the only person who really be seems to showing Lori any type of love in this situation is her granddaughter who karen is also lying to about the relationship because there's a strained relationship between Karen and Lori due to the due to the childhood that Karen had to suffer through that she doesn't really like Lori too much regarding and she doesn't want any of that plague in the family she has now so Karen Stroll for the most part of Halloween 2018 was a very unlikable character in my honest opinion but not for just any random reason like not for a bad reason she had a legitimate reason to not have like an open heart towards her mother but it's still at the same time that character of karen was just very unlikable at times towards the end of the film you did start to feel for her and get on her side a bit more um the only time i think we honestly were on karen's side in halloween 2018 was when Lori wasn't was engaging with her daughter because we know we all love Lori strode don't want anything to happen to Lori or her loved ones so i'm i'm excited to see more of this badass karen that she's talking about in halloween kills when that comes out next year so i can't wait to see what that what that turns into i can't wait to see how she takes the lead in this upcoming mob mentality film that we're going to be getting i can't wait to see how she interacts with Lori. can't wait to see how how much of a badass she'll actually become but jumping into something else we have an official rating from the motion pictures association the mpaa halloween kills has its official rating and of course it's rated none other than rated r of course every halloween film has been rated r i don't think we've ever gotten a pg-13 halloween film i hope not i hope i'm wrong i think all of them have been rated r halloween kills has been rated r for strong bloody violence throughout grisly images language and drug use so the the typical things you would expect from a halloween film or any r-rated film that's getting this type of rating michael myers is gonna be on the kill on the hunt killing and blood splattering everywhere we've already seen glimpses of what we can expect with the blood and the gore in the teasers that we've gotten we see michael swinging like it looks like he's slashing someone's throat and like the blood is being exaggerated in ways to come out the guy's throat it looks like and it's flying off the flying into the camera shot um the cinematography looked great in that angle that we saw in the teaser so based off of everything they've been teasing it's going to be a very brutal film it's going to be a very emotional film it's going to pack a lot into it i'm not surprised that it's got an r rating i expect this to be a very gruesome film a very gut-riching film a very heartbreaking film because another thing i was going to talk about regarding get karen strode was this badass portrayal that we're going to get supposedly for karen 
I wonder if her confidence is what's going to be her downfall. Like, I wonder if she gets too confident in whatever it is that she's doing with this whole mob mentality behind her. And it looks like the whole town of Haddonfield, many people in the town of Haddonfield look like they're going to be rallying up together to go after Michael Myers. We know we're going to we're going to have Tommy Doyle. We're going to have Marion Chambers. We're going to have little Lindsay Wallace back. And then we have Allison Strode, who apparently is going to be getting more of the focus this time around. And Lori will be taking a back seat in ways. And then we have Karen Strode, who we know will expect to be a part of all of this, too. And we'll get to see how maybe we'll get to learn more about her and how her childhood has shaped her to be the person she is. We'll get to get more a, a more likable side of her because in the 2018 film, we got the we got mostly an unlikable side. But this one. I feel like we'll get a likable Karen Strode. So I can't wait to see what happens there. I, I'm still a little convinced that this will ultimately be her downfall. I know a lot of people speculated that Karen Strode could be one of the people that die in this film. So I wonder if that confidence of hers is what's going to end up costing her her life in the end. Or what if she ends up just having to sacrifice herself to save Lori and Allison. Instead of Lori sacrificing herself to save Karen and Allison... Karen might sacrifice herself to save her mother and her daughter, or she just might sacrifice herself in general to save Allison, or she might not sacrifice herself at all. She might just end up getting too ahead of herself and she ends up paying the ultimate price with her life. And Michael Myers claims another victim, which we know would just set up a final battle stage of epic proportions between Michael Myers and Laurie Strode. I can only imagine the final shot of the film if the last thing that happens is Karen Strode dying and then the last thing we get is like a vengeful stare from Laurie Strode to end the film I think that would be a very badass way to end the movie now I'm actually hoping that's what we get that sounds better in my head every now that I'm thinking about it that sounds like a good way to end Halloween Kills so I hope that's what happens uh I can't wait to see what happens with this movie the fact that it's R R rated not surprised Karen Strode, her being a badass, can't wait to see what happens there. Can't wait to see how the town of Haddonfield reacts to the events that have already transpired in this night because we know we're picking up in the exact same night of Halloween 2018, 40 years later after the original events of the 78 film. There's been rumors that we could see Dr. Loomis appear in some capacity. I've already made a video about that. We know we're going to have uh, Lonnie back in some capacity as well. So I know a lot of you can't wait to see what happens with this project. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.